Yes, Tat Wizard, Jesse K. This is Hot in Tech. Changing the perspective of a geek one interview at a time. Today, I have some something super extraordinary in the building. It's been tagged as the real-life Star Trek communicator. It's called the Onyx. Today, I have Jesse from Orion. How are you, sir? Doing great. Really glad to be here. Great. So we ran into each other last week at CE Week. Um, it's a conference that the organization that puts together CES out in Vegas, they do local events in major cities and so forth. Um, this is the Onyx, and this is a digital walkie-talkie, correct? Correct. Uh, inspire, inspired a little bit like a Star Trek communicator badge or like a radio or Nextel or Boost with the chirp. Tell us how it works. As far as I understand, it's it's through an app, through your phone, and once it's on, you put the phone in your pocket. You tag. It's a wearable. Um, yeah. You just press the button and talk. That's it. Just press the button and talk. Just press the button and talk. Wow, that's incredible. Amazing, amazing. The chirp is back. The <laughs> chirp is back. We Yo. missed it. Is it have the same reach as the old? Uh, Chirp? It actually works. So it works anywhere. Uh, I've used it internationally. You can use it uh, to talk to your friends, uh, you know, in the same uh, building or in the same city or across the country or across the world. It's pretty awesome. That is awesome. Um, so what inspired you to make this? Like, are you a Star Trek junkie or do you have some experience that you were like, voila, like I got it. Let's do it. So yeah, I'm a Star Trek junkie, but also uh, originally before I started my career in tech, I was a firefighter, and so and I still actually work as a volunteer from time to time, uh, and so we use radios in those environments. I'm like, well, let me see if I can bring something like a radio uh, and something a little bit inspired, like a Star Trek communicator badge, inspired by, right. uh, and uh, and bring that out in a thing that consumers actually will use and will make people's lives better because they can just talk to their friends without having to look at a smartphone all the time. Was it challenging to take this? idea this disruptive idea and turn it into a reality more time more stress uh, more frustration more crazy turns uh, getting the design right making the product work make it uh, in a package that people want this was uh, incredibly challenging but it's been worth it because people use it they love it they find new ways of using it all the time what uh, when did this process start for you like when did when did the light bulb go off and then from pen to paper to actual development? I started thinking about the idea in 2012, and uh, mostly I figured it wasn't actually gonna be doable. Uh, in 2013 and 2014 was when we really kind of started with the concept. I started building a team, raised a little money, uh, and uh, we proved out that yes, it would actually work, you could do it. Uh, and then uh, about a month ago, we, we, we started uh, putting them out uh, for people and last a uh, couple of days we started shipping the the first orders out so the ones you're holding in your hands are the, some of the very first ones in the world that people are actually getting to use dope, dope. wow hot off the press yes so what does this cost uh it's 129 for one 249 for two currently they're available on our website which is orionlabs.io uh, but pretty soon they'll be available on amazon and in a bunch of uh, different great retail uh, environments Okay, dope. So I saw, I happened to run across when I was researching everything that this is a, a second generation model. The first generation model was was black, a little bulkier, and had an LED. Why did you move away from that design? So uh, the the biggest thing uh, was actually a technical reason. Uh, so these use uh, Bluetooth low energy, which is the same as like a Fitbit. Um, and so they don't interfere with your audio. So if you're streaming music to your headphones and you're walking around, you can still use Onyx and it won't interrupt your flow. Uh, and uh, that was really, really important. Uh, it, you know, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't get in your way. It's got to just always work. So that was the biggest reason. The pr first generation product was awesome and people liked it. But uh, if you wanted to play audio, you had to s decide where it was going to stream. There's a bunch of other stuff. So this just touch and talk and it always works. And what would you say are the three best utilities for this for everybody that would want one of these? So the first one is uh, people that are, are staying connected at an event like a festival or you know running an event. Uh, we actually use them to run uh, some of our promotional events. So like keeping a crew together when you're moving through city environment uh, and you need to get stuff done and you don't want to be sitting down 
down, looking at your phone, being like, where is that person or whatever. That's that's kind of the first like killer use case where it makes complete sense and it changes your life uh, the first time you use it. Uh, second one is uh, lots of sports and outdoors, people cycling, running, hiking, whatever. Um, and then lots of families are using it. You know, it's it it's surprising, like just dealing with house projects or uh, staying connected when you're doing you know various activities. You don't want to basically saves you from yelling across uh, the hall or the park. You're just able to talk and you know get things done that way. So that's been kind of the killer use case. It's just people keeping people connected. You know, kind of your core group uh, without having to to spend time looking down at a smartphone. Yeah, um, and I see there's a 3.5 millimeter jack in here, um, yeah. so you could go Secret Service if you want, tuck it in your pocket and yep. put it to the headphone and so forth. But moving forward, so I we just said this is second generation and you moved on it quick. Do you foresee a third generation <laughs> and getting even smaller? Yes, there'll be future versions of it. Uh, this is what we're going to be. Uh, this is our, our product for the next year. Um, and it's great. People really love it. The, the biggest thing is, um, you know, what people are finding is uh, that they are getting excited about like voice applications. You know, pe people are aware of Amazon's Alexa and Echo and things like that. We're getting used to using the power of your voice to control and talk to things. So we're uh, over the next year. If you're if you buy Onyx and you're using Orion, uh, you're going to start to see voice applications uh, start to appear as well. So you can have reminders or send people notes or do other things through without the Onyx. through the Onyx. Uh, those services are just going to start uh, rolling out uh, throughout the year. But when you if you buy one now, then uh, you're going to get to see those earlier than anybody else, which is pretty cool. But yeah. Do you plan on installing or having it work with one of the AIs like a Siri or a Cortana or Alexa so forth? We do very soon. Uh, and uh, we already have some uh, voice agents today that uh, will, for instance, uh, if you're out with a group and you want to know where like your buddy is, you can just say, hey, where is you know Greg? And it will tell you where they are either by saying, oh, they're standing near this uh, landmark or uh, give you like, oh, they're 40 feet from you. Turn, you know, it doesn't say turn around, but basically like look around, you know? Right. Uh, and that's, that's something that we built originally, again, coming from the firefighting background where you know that's you always want to know hey where is that that person right, right. Uh, i think the old uh, uh boost line was something like where are you at or something right, right? right like right, and uh, and that's the thing like people just want to know where they are so that you can coordinate so uh we made an app that uh, uh that works through uh, our network that you can just say hey where's greg and it'll tell you and that's just the beginning of the types of applications that uh you're going to see from us uh and that uh, will be rolled out, uh, uh, you know, pretty quickly for everybody that's on our network. So privacy being a big issue, though, and but people are going to want to use this. Is there a way to not know where you are but yet still use it? Absolutely. So uh, the all location services that we use are are opt in. So you have to decide that you uh, want to be using it. Uh, and uh, we, we take privacy extremely seriously. Uh, the devices are encrypted, so uh, I don't know if you're, you know, if you run an event or ever use like old school radios or walkie talkies. You know, that's just broadcast over for everyone yeah, to hear, right? Can... Yeah. This is fully encrypted, and so uh, and so even if you're in, working internationally, talking internationally, like we really do what we can to protect uh, the the privacy of, of people using it, uh, both from uh, from each other, right? Because you know you don't like you don't always want people to know where you are obviously or right, right. maybe you just want one crew to know where you are for a little while and then you want to you know uh, as my my uh, firefighter buddy say run silent run deep and uh, so that's kind of uh, it works in all those different cases how many of these are right now on the street uh, there's a couple thousand out today um, and uh, as uh, I'm getting updates right now as the uh, as the sh first shipments are arriving uh, there'll be a couple thousand more and uh, and then after that it kind of goes up pretty quickly as uh, you'll start to see them everywhere that's super cool so one thing that we like to do here at hot and tech when we show this emerging technology is offer people a way to get it at a more affordable cost. Not mm -hmm. that this is not a, an affordable cost, but we like to give them a little benefit. What can you do for us? <laughs> We're going to set up a special hot and tech discount code, uh, which you can give out, which will give a 20% discount on our site for the next 30 days. Uh, and uh, th those will be some of the first units uh, getting in people's hands. And hopefully that'll uh, help people out. Nice. That's great. Get nice. it first, get it cheaper hot and tech, taking care of our people. It's awesome. Indeed, indeed.
and it's perfect for festival season and yes. you know uh, all the events that are going on yeah, especially those festivals you come with a big crowd but then you may w need to go to the bathroom and i may need to go get something to eat right. and jesse may need to go get something to drink and we want to see this one performance together though yep. so we want to be like click click yo where you at <laughs> and you can have someone where you at exactly and then you know bring me a beer too yeah. So, Jesse, let me ask you, what made you think of the name Onyx? Do you get the reference? <laughs> uh, yeah, you mean the, sl the slam reference? Of yes. course. Yes, yeah. yes. Now, I let mean, the boys be boys. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Onyx was, uh, it's, you know, it's an awesome, uh, it's an awesome material. It's dark, it's strong, it's uh, beautiful to look at. Uh, so, the first units that we made, the first products that we made uh, were black and shiny like that. And uh, so kind of that was the, the first inspiration. Now it comes in a bunch of different colors as well, but uh, it would just wanted something kind of elemental, you know? All right, that's, that's just, this is just incredible. I just, I'm here now, I just keep playing with it, pause, I love now, it. I <laughs> There's also a mute fun function that, so that when uh, you, someone starts talking, it, uh, you can mute it right away, so. A mute, a volume, <laughs> oh, it's, it's, this is just, it's fire, it's fire. Um, so I really appreciate you guys coming through and showing this device off. I really, really appreciate the fact that you're gonna give a discount. Um, and I hate to press, but one last thing, I would love to open the minds of our culture a little bit more and be able to give some of these away. Is that possible? Absolutely. Oh, that's just incredible. So you heard it here first, not only are you gonna get a 20% discount in time for the holidays, but we're also gonna give a couple away. So stay tuned and see what you gotta do for that.